Hello and welcome to another tutorial of JavaScript. In this tutorial, we're going to learn about the switch case. Switch case is an alternate approach to writing a condition. However, switch case has some limitations. Um, for example, you could only use primitive type with switch case. Uh, primitive type is pretty much defined as something, so a data that is not breakable. For example, date is not a primitive type because you can easily break up the date into year, uh, month, date, and similarly, time is not, not primitive. String is not primitive because string could be broken up into characters. The primitive types would be like a character. For example, um, uh, if I have a character C, I cannot break it any further. If I have number 45, I can't really break up 45. If I break it up, it won't be 45 anymore. So those are the things that are basically considered to be primitive types, like Boolean values of true and false. So switch condition work with uh, primitive types. Second of all, switch condition does not work on an AND operation. It could only work on an R operation. Uh, thirdly, switch condition only works on equality, so it doesn't work on greater than, less than, greater than equals to, less than equals to, or not equals to. So there are several limitations, and why do we still use switch? Because it's a lot more structured than, than as compared to an if condition. For example, if I'm writing a switch case where I would like to show the weekday based on the weekday number. So let's say if I have a variable called weekday number, which has been assigned a value. So now I can be writing a switch case, which is I'm writing this variable name only once. So unlike if condition, I do not have to repeat the variable name over and over again with every condition. All I need to do is if case one, that means if the weekday numbers value is equals to one, go ahead and display on the screen Sunday. But one additional thing that we have to be careful about is the usage of break. Now, before I move forward, you, you may see this to be written out like this in some books or in some of the codes. In some codes, you may see it written like this. In some codes, you may see it written like this. It all works the same way. As we have learned in the past, pressing enter in JavaScript doesn't really make any difference. What completes a statement is a semicolon. That's why you can write your statements however you want to write it. The reason I'm writing like this, because in this case, all structures look very much alike. So if case is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Display Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And just like an if, switch has something called default, which is like an else, in which I can display document.write invalid number. And default doesn't have to have a break. So now I would like to run this program. And since I set my weekday equals to 1, therefore I get Sunday. If I change this to, let's say, 5, then I get Thursday. If I change this to 9, then I get invalid number. So it works pretty much like an if condition. However, if, as you can see, it's much structured. You do not need to repeat the variable name multiple times. However, always remember to use this word break. Now, if, even if I give out spacing to make sure that all of my breaks are aligning. That doesn't really make any difference to the code because white spaces, pressing an enter key, tabbing, none of these really makes a difference in HTML or JavaScript. What makes a difference here is the usage of semicolons. So for example, if I would like to align all of my document.writes, this to be on the safe side. So this is how you can be writing in your code a little bit much structured than the previous code. 
but this is how you will be using a switch case if you had to apply it. So if I run this code again, you will going to notice it has no difference in the output, still works the same way. So this is one implementation of switch case. In this implementation of switch case, what it is pretty much doing is it is taking the value of weekday number and trying to see which condition it matches with. Whichever condition it matches with, it executes that condition and breaks out of the switch. If you forget to use the break statement, then I'm going to execute all the cases. So do not forget to use the word break. That will throw you outside of the switch only if the condition is true. Hope you would have enjoyed this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we're going to learn how to work with a switch condition with an OR operation between the cases. In this one, they're all like else ifs. So catch you soon in the next tutorial.